So that's the bleeding problem. Uh, you can see the picture here. Some bleeding under the skin. So here is more dry and some kind of scary here already. But you can see here. Pupil color. Yeah, pupil color. And the bleeding spot. So that's the Chinese illness name. Zi Zi just means the pupil color in there. Here, like a patch. Yeah. So that's the EOD. For TCM, hard control the blood vessel. And the blood vessels have this function. And then they will come to bleed. So that's basically, yeah, basically, we're talking about this problem. So for the reason caused, yeah, the reason caused for bleeding under the skin, opera, we have a lot of, lot of reasons. Yeah, we have different reasons. But uh, here we're talking about the children's problems. So that's the only reason uh, caused the bleeding there. So that's the we got a special type. And they have different names. Yeah. They talk about the same thing. Yeah. They talk about the same thing. So that's the condition. Like uh, some inflammation in the small blood vessels there. And then blood linking to the skin. And the severe case could be caused the bleeding internal of it. Like a bleeding go to the joints and go to intestine or even from the kidney. We can see the bleeding from the urine. So these kind of problems pretty high pretty common hyperlay in children between age two to four. And uh, right now we are not that clear like uh, what's the cause. It's not like uh, totally genetic problem, skin problem. But uh, truly in the same family, like fathers or sisters, they have more chance to have it. So still not totally clear yet. And most the children will totally recover. But some severe case, it's a possible cause of kidney problem. So that's generally, yeah, that's generally. And uh, what's caused the problems? So caused the problems, uh, it's not a truly clear yet. But something relationship with the autoimmunity disorder. So what means autoimmunity disorder? So basically of our immunity fu functions, it's protected of our body from uh, like uh, passenger evading, external passenger evading, or even sometimes internally, some uh, like uh, cells changing or cells 
like uh, diet or overgrowing, that kind of abnormal cells in there, then our immunity system will clear it. But for autoimmunity disorder, basically, the body cells is normal, but uh, immunity systems, for some reason, they make mistake. They look the normal cells for abnormal cells. Then they will attack it. And then they may kill the cell. So that's the problem. So body's immunity system are attacking body itself cell and open. So that's basically happen for this illness. Then make it a losing function. So we say that kind of autoimmunity disorder may be caused by upper respiratory tract infection. Like people got the EPI immediately first. Then the EPI recover. Then you can see the pupil kind of stop, like uh, all over the body. So that's basically, yeah, basically, is some reason. And some other immunity reasons, like people have allergy, kind of allergy reaction, still possible. Oh. And the people take a special kind of medication. When people say, they have illness, they may take some medication, but some drug, they may have side infection. That side infection may be trigger people's immunity system reaction and make a mistake. They will kill and broken the normal cells. And even some people got injured, like falling down or by car accident, kind of a physical injury there, still possible trigger. Or even some people got a common cold or maybe touching with cold weather. So that's the some reason right now the scientists the funding may be relationship with this kind of disorder. But like we say, still not uh, totally clear yet. We just say some reasons may be caused, but not uh, like a hundred percent make sure like which patient why they got this illness. So common symptoms in this uh, illness, especially in children. So that's kind of a skin rash there. But uh, truly, they, they, it caused by blood linking into the skin. It's not truly like other skin issues. It's blood vessels issue, and then blood linking out to the skin. And uh, also, they can linking out to the mucosa membrane. Where the mucosa membrane located? Like uh, inside of mouth, uh, inside of nose cavity. So that's covered by the mucosa memory. And they also can link in, go to the internal organ. So pretty commonly organ for this illness. 
will call to a further team. Certainly, they still possible go to other open. And also can go to other TCA. Like uh, they can are uh, parking the joint and uh, calls the painful joint and the swollen joint. And maybe they go to attacking uh, middle cell, abdominal area, cause painful in the abdominal area. And uh, the possible cause bleeding in the digestion system, digestion tract. So that's the digestion tract start from the mouth. So maybe some bleeding pupil can start in the mouth and maybe go to sophigas. Yes, sophigas we are hardly to see directly. We must see your special kind of scalp and then putting inside. They have camera in there, they have light in there, then we can see. But truly, if people cause bleeding problems, sometimes blood may be warming out from the stomach, from the sophigus. They may be warming out. And also may happen in the intestine, cause the blood in the stool, and cause the attacking the kidney. So kidney go to swollen, and uh, then maybe cause some blood in the urine. Very severe case, yeah, very severe case, if bleeding happens in the brain, that should be very, very severe case. So that's truly can also cause the patient die. So our brain time we know, our brain covered by the gallop book here. So basically the space is limited here. The only open part, like a connected part, is with the spinal cord, yeah, spinal cord. So when bleeding happens in the brain, the main problem is the blood coming out. So then locally the pressure increase in the brain. And then no place to go. So cause the pressure increase, increase. One aspect is that pressure may be damaged the nervous cell in the brain. Another problem, truly they push in everything down because they only have an uh, open here. They, uh, they push in the brain stem when they part down to this part and blocking it. So brain stem especially pretty low part brain stem is our medulla obligata. So that's our respiration control center and the circulation control center. So that means our respiration control back if it's not working, no respiration. And our heart beat control back. If heart not beating there, people will be back immediately. So that's a very, very severe case if it causes the brain disorder. But most case, yeah, most case is just some swollen and bleeding and the skin. And some children may be attacking the skin. That's most case.
So this yield is they talking about some people, yeah, some people uh, are talking by the ETI first. So that's the basic lay. relationship with the external seasonal lay, wind heat passenger account. And some epidemic kind of passenger yeah, in this vaccination. And the internal reason, yeah. So basically, here we're talking about the TPI etiology here. It's a combination with the external reason and the internal reason. So internal reason basically is body Zheng Qi disease or LCC disease. When we talk about the illness, yeah, we talk about the balance, healthy qi. And with the passenger. To see which side is strong. To see which side is strong. So normally, kind of keep balance there, people will not sit. Like we always have some passenger attacking of all body but not everybody will get in sick so when people get in sick only when either passenger is so strong or body junkie or maybe body junkie originally some weaker so that's the condition yeah, that's the condition so that's a combination reason. Passenger strong and the body Zheng Qi or healthy Qi is weak. So that's the illness will be heightened. Not only for this illness, also for like any kind of illness. It's kind of losing balance. Body Zheng Qi is passenger. Then we're talking about the different part and the treatment. Firstly, we're still talking about the wind heat part. Wind heat evading, that belong to EPI. They will evade in superficial of the body first. That's most shallow, that's the collateral part. It's not a truly go to deeper, go to channel. So basically it's superficial. So generally say it's acute on site. EPI evading, patient will have fever, chill, or fever, aversion to wind or cold, same time. And then have soft thought. Still possible have headache, like a nose blocking. So got that EPI symptoms first, then under the skin, yeah. then follow that symptom, then under the skin, some bright, right, super arctic kind of skin. So that kind of damage there. So mainly happens on the lower limb. Candidate, yeah. 
is not like in the this in the same location, like all over, all over. Maybe start from the peak and then go to all the lower part of the leaf. And also can have itches. So that's for most pain. Still possible, patient may have swollen painful joints. We say that kind of attacking may be attacking for the joint. And the pulse will have abdominal pain because they may attacking internal organ, may attacking intestine. And then cause the blood to stool and the blood in the urine. Generally say bleeding problem. Tongue is dry. And a little bit thin yellow coating. So that's generally we say when the like uh, the bleeding problem happens, that kind of heat go to kind of internally already even not uh, like uh, so deep, but it's not only external heat. The different degree go to internal and cause internal heat. So that uh, tongue will be very calm. And the yellow coating. But the pulse is still floating. And the rapid. So that's basically for this part. So for treatment principle, still belong to wind, we still dispersing wind and the clear heat and the try to like the stop bleeding, that's truly a kind of bleeding problem in there. Relieve external, yeah, relieve external. Wind heat pattern, pretty similar, we treat other illness with the heat pattern. So I fall. Sanjiao 5 relieve external, even sometimes with nuclear combination with lung 7 together. Gallbladder 20 wind point. 214 clear heat point. So that's uh, we can needle it. Yeah, we can needle it. Uh, still the same idea. Still the same idea. Uh, if the children, like, like a little bit older children, if they can handle, you can leave the needle there about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, if smaller children, if smaller children, like uh, we couldn't leave the needle there, so you can needle it and manipulate and then we stop. So that's we say 10 times as one treatment section. Then stop three to five days. Then we go to another treatment section. So that's basically the treatment. So you're in the wind condition, wind heat condition. Uh, we talking about uh, we can copy and we can guasa. But generally for this condition, we are not go to copy, we are not go to guasa. Because the patient pretty easily 
bleeding there, and they have bleeding trouble there. So if you go to Guasa or Kati, maybe make everything worse. Yeah, worse the bleeding there. So this condition, we are not Guasa, we are not Kati, but we can use needles. Still be careful, use the thinner needles. And after we draw needles, maybe we use the cotton ball holding the hole there in case of no severe kind of bleeding. Then we're talking about another part. Bleeding due to blood heat. So that's belong to internal heat part. Generally say any kind of illness, any kind of illness, internal heart or internal heat pattern will be more severe compared with external heat pattern. And uh, we're talking about four levels before, right? I teach in so many, so many uh, classes in this uh, semester. I, even, I forgot which, which class I'm talking. But generally, say we have four levels. We have V level. We have T level. We have Yin level. We have Blood level. So V level, uh, Defending T level, okay, superficial level. That's a condition generally say like a EPI wind T that passing. T level is a heat go to deeper. Yeah, heat go to deeper. Basically, T level will go for B the world. Big pulse and uh, big fever. Yeah, high fever. And the big sighting. Certainly, yeah, certainly, people writing loud, they will drinking loud. So they will thirsty, yeah, being thirsty and drinking loud. Big pulse, big fever, big writing, big thirsty. So that's the heat in the chi level, yeah, heat in the chi level. So that's the chi level, wei level, belong to yang level. The heat not still reduced, they will go to yin level. So yin level, blood level is the yin level. So after yin level is the blood level or she level. So that's still belong to internal heat level, but the combination excessive with deficiency. Excessive part still heat, but they will have body deficiency. 
So that's basically if we're talking about go to like a deep level. But here is different condition here. Here is blood heat, yeah, blood heat. So blood heat basically pushing blood go outside and cause the bleeding. So that's basically the bleeding, bleeding spots is more close to each other. That's just this bleeding spot here. And mainly, yeah, mainly is bright red color. And maybe uh, form a patch. And uh, also can cause the blood stool and the urine blood. So that's the mainly symptom. And the patient have more heat symptoms. And the thirsty, irritability, and the constipation. And also possible have abdominal painful and the fever. Tongue is right tongue. And the pulse is rapid and the forceful. So that's generally say is a combination pattern. I think the last time we have a combination pattern is kind of a T level heat plus blood level heat. So if only blood level heat, so basically patient's pulse will be weak. So that's uh, Basically, for this pattern, then we talking about a treatment pencil. Treatment pencil clear heat and then remove toxin. What means toxin? Most severe kind of heat. That kind of heat even causes bleeding. So that's we can think about. Heat toxin. And the heat go to the blood, pushing blood go outside. We need to cooling the blood. Then stop bleeding. So the points truly we need more clear heat points there. I like everything, mainly clear internal heat. And the two fourteen. And we also have points still really external. So that's still originally coming from external. But the heat gradually go to deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, this kind of condition, yeah, this kind of condition, we can thinking about use breathing technique, like uh, some excessive heat in there or severe heat in there, breathing can relieve it. So bleeding for Jing Liao points usually use. And uh, certainly uh, we have some other points we can use for bleeding. I took points are this. Uh, is the DA is top, yeah, top of the year. It's good for clear heat, bleeding clear heat. And also blood flow heat. Clear heat. So blood channel is more superficial young channel. 
we say Taiyang Taiyang. So clear heat from Taiyang channel. And still depending, you can leave in the middle there about 20, 20 minutes or maybe 15 to 20 minutes, or maybe there's uh, more manipulation in the needle, and we dry it immediately. And still 10 times as one treatment second. Then we go to the part uh, we say, she couldn't control the blood. When we talking she couldn't control the blood here, mainly we talking about the skin cheese. Mainly we talking about skin cheese. So skin cheese function can hold in the blood in the blood vessel. When spring chi defenses, defenses, they couldn't hold in the blood in the blood vessel, then they'll cause bleeding problem. So basically, this illness is a bleeding problem. So basically, defensive disorder causes problem. It's kind of slow on that. Gradually, gradually happen. It's not like a acute problem. But they get you let it be worse and worse. So the sauce, the sauce is let it be light color kind of sauce. Still more pupil color, but uh, light pupil, light pupil. And uh, connected each other. And uh, can cause the urine bleed. This kind of urine bleeding, maybe we could directly see it with our night eyes. Maybe need a microscope, then we find the red blood cell in the urine, so possible. And the shallow complex or, or pale face and the fatigue. Yeah, people easily tired. And the generally weaker, yeah, weaker constitution. And the also have poor appetite or maybe losing stool and the generally dizziness. So sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes maybe can change in some heat, then they can see some flashing running or maybe just a pure color. And the tongue generally say it's a pill. And the tongue coating generally say it's not changing. Pulse, weaker pulse. Yeah. The variety is the defensive pulse. Both like is defensive pulse. So generally this pattern is a defensive pattern. And the letter be slow for that chronic condition. Treatment pencil, tonified spring, spring. Last we talking about spring chi holding the blood or checking the blood. When spring chi is strong, they will hold in the blood. And the nourishing the heart. 
hard control the blood vessel. The hard kind of disease, they couldn't uh, like uh, control the blood vessel, then caused the bleeding. And uh, totally by and the maintenance, like uh, blood, in circulation of stop bleeding. So the points we mainly use for T polyphase. Yuan South points of the spleen is three, and the stronger lay T25 points, some of are 36. Yuan 6, we call T high, T of the T. And the two twenty rising young T. Certainly, you can add in more, like a bank through point there. Even for the other 13, yeah. they have two organs, some organs, when they control the key. Why is the spleen? Why is the lung? It will control all the over body key. So when T, when people have T deficiency disorder, they can go to these two organs, tonify together. And the deficiency problems, we say, Maxa is a good choice. So we can go to two channel of Maxa there. So T deficiency pretty easily called young deficiency. Do four is pretty good point for young twenty five. And we also can go to Ren point to twenty five. Ren eight with Maxa. And we can put some ginger there for indirect Maxa. So we we talking about the indirect massa. We put a, we can put something between the massa form and the skin. So including the ginger and the salt is still good for this condition. So basically, yang totified and the warm. And we have a Chinese herb we call Fuzi. Still warm, still warm, still can put in there. Uh, truly we can use indirect maxa, like maxa bar also. Go to each of the points and go to maxa, like the logo skin getting warm. So we still can take video there about 15 to 20 minutes and 10 times as one treatment cycle. Then another deficiency kind of type, in deficiency type. When people in deficiency, the fear will be hyperactivity, or sometimes we use the word young rising. So the symptoms, the symptoms, the skin intermittently on site. Dark. Pupil can no full spot in there. 
and uh, also maybe cause the bleeding in the kidney, maybe in the internal uh, organ, like intestine. So, but it's not that big bleeding. We say like uh, blood in the urine. Usually we need to use microscope, then they say. And the other symptom, in the symptom, low fever, and the night sweating, and the generally irritability, post sleep, and the post dry stool, and the yellow urine. Right urine here means bleeding. That means bleeding. Usually we talk about the dark yellow urine. When we talk about the red urine, this is blood cells inside. Especially red blood cells. It will be bring the right color. Tongue, glossy red, kind of without coating. Uh, like uh, I think uh, sometimes we talk about uh, male tongue, yeah. this is uh, some sun in there, but uh, it's no coating. House is directed and directed. That's the basic kind of house. So treatment pencil, yeah, treatment pencil, nursing in and the subduing or reducing the fear and the cooling blood still bleeding problems. We're thinking about the heat go to blood levels and the stop bleeding. The points, yeah, points. While aspected, we need the nursing in. Yeah. So you can add in kidney points there for in nursing. Kidney six. Certainly, it's being six is in nursing points also. And we also need other points for clear heat. So we still use 214 LI11 to clear heat. And we also need clear heat from the blood. So that's screen pen here. Screen pen you can use for totally blood. And also you can use for moving blood. And you also can use like a clear heat from the blood level. So basically here we need a reducing technique. So still 15 to 20 minutes if we can take the needle there, or maybe more manipulation the needles, then we straw the needle. So basically still 10 times as one treatment section. And uh, after 10 times, stop three to five days. Then start for another treatment section. Then we still go to preventing part. So basically, Still, yeah, still, we need the patient's constitution or body healthy tea is more strong. How to make a body healthy tea or make a constitution stronger? Regular exercise. So that's the Monday. Yeah, that's the Monday. Not only for children. Also for audio, 
uh, with healthy about the regular exercises make body stronger and healthy teeth stronger. So that's the first thing. So in that kind of situation, patient healthy teeth stronger, including weight teeth stronger. When people weight teeth strong, they will not go to PPI attachment. So that's the first aspect. It look like uh, we talking about the preventing for any kind of illness, yeah, any kind of illness. We can encourage the people do some exercises and get body gently stronger. And uh, if patient got like EPI attacking, we need to be careful. We need to be careful. So basically, that's advice the medicine. Uh, that's belong to upper respiratory tract infection. Like about the light risk part, belong to upper respiratory tract. So we know our respiration system. Now the put the balls here. So basically, our respiration system. That's the eyes here. It started from nose cavity and then downward. So that's basically it's the voice box part. Above it belong to upper respiration tract. Below it belong to lower respiration tract. People mostly got the respiration uh, infections. Mainly happens in the upper part. Yeah, mainly happens in the upper part. And the people got the symptoms like the fever, chills, a vision to cold, body ache, running nose. If go to low respiration tract infection, people will be caught. But the upper part is not truly caught. So when people got EPI infection and we treat immediately. And also patient, if patient have chronic infection, like sometimes repeatedly happens, tonsil is the grind, uh, belong to immunity system. Basically, in sun, South Africa. People got tonsillitis, they are tonsils infected. Thus, they got swollen there and some pus coming out. So, that's repeatedly, repeated reactions, repeatedly inflammation will cause like other illness. And also patient have teeth, like an injury or damage there, like it. So that kind of condition will pretty easily cause the repeatedly inflammation, repeatedly inflammation, and the sinus. Sinus is open to the mouth. That's the space in the bone. But they open the memory mucosa connected with the nose. So when people got EPI attacking, that's pretty commonly got to sinusitis. And the sinusitis is chronic by in there. And uh, 
like uh, even easily cause the CPI tunnel collision passenger attachment. So that we need to treat this kind of chronic disorder. And also, if parasites inside of a children's body, like we're talking about parasites, we say the life situation and parasites will cause poor nutrition. So poor nutrition truly directly cause people healthy teeth deficiency. So that's for parasites. And also, yeah, and also try to avoid some allergies. Some people have allergy reactions to some food or maybe to the medication. So generally speaking, allergy reactions still kind of body zheng qi Then people have allergies. So like uh, clinically, we may heard about a lot of people, they talk about, I couldn't uh, eat in, like uh, they list uh, some food in there. I couldn't uh, eat in this, I couldn't uh, eat in that, I couldn't uh, eat in this. Each time after I eat it, I will bloating sensation or maybe cause losing stool. But uh, this kind of patient, if uh, they ask, if you ask, they may have also have other symptoms, even they don't eat this kind of food. So like abdominal dysphagia and uh, multiple times of the bone movement a day. So that's basically still belong to skin tissue disease situation. So that's basically when we talk about the prevention. Then we're talking about the nursing care. Nursing care, nursing care that means generally like the patient truly got the illness. So in the acute state, yeah, in the acute state, so what means the acute state? Like uh, we're talking about caused by EPI reasons or maybe internal excessive heat situations. They will like a uh, suddenly happens a big amount of bleeding. May happen in the skin, may happen from the stool or maybe from the warm skin. So during that time, yeah, it's no bleeding time. The patient must be stay at the back and get right. Don't do too much movement. So basically, movement will same time like a moving feet, moving blood. That may be during that time cause the more bleeding kind of situation. So keeping back, keeping back. So that's during a cold day. Like every day you find some new skin, some bleeding in there. And also we talking about the problem. Usually, combination reasons, body zheng qi deficiency, and then passenger qi elation. So we need to build up body zheng qi. But truly, this kind of time, patient body zheng qi are weak already. So we get a more nutrition kind of food but easy digestion, like here, means easy digestion. And especially for patients' situation, 
is patient have bleeding coming from the stomach? Or maybe bleeding coming from large heart. So coming from stomach, generally say we have two conditions. One condition, people vomiting out with the blood. Another condition, they may not be bleeding. So they may not vomit out, but they will like blood follow the stool and then coming out. And if patient have bleeding in the large tassel, the blood still go to the stool coming out. So how clinically we simply know like that blood coming from stomach or coming from stool or coming from large tassel? Basically, large tassel cause the bleeding. But the blood is a fresh red color. But if the bleeding coming from the stomach is the kind of a coffee kind of color, the black color, because stomach eye, we know, they will have stomach eye. They will like a act with red blood cell and the passing long way from the stomach eye to outside of body from, from the stool. So they were changing color, like a coffee kind of color, or maybe black color. Maybe black color. So that's the reason separate stomach bleeding and a large person bleeding. If patient truly have this kind of situation, maybe stomach bleeding, maybe large tassel bleeding. So truly we need a multi type of the food the patients eat. Semi-fluid diet for easy digestion. And try not to eat too much fabric like vegetables uh, or even fluid. They contain more fabric inside. So normally that's truly good for taking more vitamins in the fluid, in the vegetable. But for stomach bleeding kind of situation and the large time bleeding kind of situation, that may make the even more severe kind of bleeding. And the same thing for spicy food. Spicy food contains some heat. They will push in the blood coming out. So that's basically for this illness. 